Hello, welcome back. So we have the uh, Crossfire Pro uh, located in the correct position and uh, we've rewired the back wall with uh, 240 at uh, 30 amps and you can see the, uh, the sub panel right behind me and there's like nine drops along this wall. So we have uh, 120 circuits as well as 240. And I went ahead and um, made a little adapter to go from the outlets that the electrician put on the wall into the, my plasma cutter. I'll show you that here. And what we're going to do is show some test cuts again like we did last week. And I'm going to also show you the, uh, this, the uh, Crossfire Pro screen, screen recording while I'll be talking. So this is the uh, Crossfire, the Fire Control 20.6 and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to load in my um, my thing I want to cut is the AC outlet and you'll see it here and this is what we were cutting last week. So the first thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to set the program origin. So if you do this here we can set the, put the origin here. What that does is it shifts all the coordinates over. So zero, zero is now in the center of my cut. So over on the, uh, okay, so I'm back over here. So over on here, I'm gonna set my origin, my zero, zero point to that location, to where I want it to be. So I think I'm gonna do it about here. So you can see it. And then we're going to zero all the axis and we're going to do our dry run. So we click on dry run and we'll go ahead and start and you can watch what it's going to do on the other camera. All right, well that looks good. Let's do it. Let's cut it for real. I'm going to click off dry run and I'm going to hit start. So you see from my blank that I've cut three of these and uh, with the uh, proper wiring and the, the uh, power going to my uh, Razor Cut 45, this thing works like a dream. I'll go ahead and show you. Okay, so this is the, uh, the cut that we just did. There's a little bit of dross that come that's on the back, and these are actually can easily be broken off, which is a pair of pliers. And this guy snaps right in, and I have measured this. I do have to do some adjustment to my um, uh, my output from uh, Fusion to make some adjustments to the dimensions here, but otherwise this thing works great. So we're going to do another one right here. We're going to do a big one. Put this back on. All right, well, so we'll do another one. We're going to load in the cutout for the A10 Mini, which is a video switching box. And that is A10 Mini here. And the first thing we're going to go do again is set the program origin to the center. Actually, we're going to set it to the bottom corner. And then we're going to re-zero our, we want to, we want to come over and zero the uh, Crossfire Pro and we'll put it about here and we'll check that now. So we're still on the, we're still on the steel here and we're just going to set all the zero. We're going to make that zero point and we'll do a dry run like we did before. So it's going to start over there. I put the entry point in the uh, in the cam to be in the center, kind of in the center of the cut there. 
So that's looking pretty good. Spacing wise, it's going to fit on my stock. And we miss all our cutouts from before, so we're ready to go. Let's do it again. I'm going to turn off dry run. And <laughs> I'm going to move a little further out of the way this time. All right, so we're going to move over here. I'm going to turn off dry run and let's do it. All right, well, um, wouldn't you know it, the compressor decided to turn on right here at the end, so I'm going to have to voice over the rest of this video. Go ahead and move out of the way, and I'll show you the cut. Okay, so this big cutout is for the A10 Mini video switch box, which I have here. Uh, these edges aren't sharp at all, and it's not hot, actually. It's pretty thin material, I think it's 1.5 millimeter steel. So we went over and grabbed the A10 Mini, so we're going to do our test fit. And this is going to be the panel, and this is going to fit in here. There is a little lip on the top of the A10 Mini, so it'll fit down flush right on this. It actually looks pretty good. There's a little bit of play right and left that's due to a measurement error on my part. But other than that, it works pretty well. So ultimately, I'm going to paint this uh, steel black, and this is going to be the surface of my mobile uh, video production. Alright, well thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.